Has your captain ever underperformed, leaving you with a huge points disadvantage which you can't recover from? It's happened to all of us, but today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can avoid this by the captaincy loophole, which basically allows you to pick your captain twice. Just before we get into the video though, take a look at this. So basically what I'm going to try to say is just subscribe. Literally it's free, um, it helps me out, like just do it. Okay, let's get back into the video. So, for the captaincy loophole, the key thing that you really want to know is the role of the vice captain. So basically, if you didn't know, if the captain doesn't play, then you get double points for your vice captain. So, uh, I'll show you an example of the captaincy loophole using this feature. So, what I did was I've chosen um, Neil and Grundy as my two best players that I think can score the most. And a key component of this is that Grundy is playing before Neil. So if Grundy plays really badly, I can just keep the captain on Neil and I get double points for him. But if Grundy plays really well, what I can do is some sub someone on like Williams or something. And then put the captain on him. And then obviously he's not going to play right. So the double points will go on Grundy. So effectively, I'm picking my captain twice. This is a really useful trick. And also, if you're wondering, Gorn still gets to play because obviously he's on emergency. Don't forget to do that. That's a really bad mistake to make. But so basically, I really hope you found this tip um, helpful and definitely like and subscribe. And please comment if you have any questions and I'll definitely reply um, to all of them. So obviously, thanks for watching.